But if you close your eyes Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Command NPC. So if you've ever seen on the Mindplex server where they have NPCs with certain names and if you right click on them then the command will be executed or a menu will pop up. Well this plugin lets you do that for your server. So you can create an NPC and then add a command to that NPC. So when you right click on that NPC, the command will be executed. Whatever command it is, you can add any command that you want. So what you need with this plugin is citizens. So that'll be in the description. Make sure you download citizens and command NPC. Once you have downloaded both those, put them in your plugins folder and start up your server. All right, so after restarting your server, head on your Minecraft server and then the first thing that we're going to want to do is create an NPC. So just type the command slash NPC create and then give it a name. So any name you want, it could be like a like a name of your friend or whatever, your name. So I'm just going to type John and hit enter. So John has been created, now we can add a command to him. So when the players right click, the command will be executed. So the command that I'm going to use is the command that I found from a plugin called Click Warp. That'll be in the description. You can download that. It's a plugin that lets you open up a GUI menu where you can select which warp you want to go to. So the command is called slash env warp. In case you guys want to see what it looks like, it'll open up a menu where they can click to what warp they want to go to. So that's the command I'm going to use. But once you're ready and you have your command, you just type the command slash npc add cmd and then true or false whether you want the command to be a console command or not. So I'm just going to type false and then the permission node. So you might have to go to the plugin and find the permission node that you want to use or you can just type no perm. And then now you're going to type the command. So inv warp was mine, hit enter and now it's been successfully added. Now we should right click and the command should work. And yeah it works. So awesome plugin now we can click on the warp that we want to go to or whatever command you use so if you don't like the command that you added and you want to change it you can type slash npc reset cmds that's commands and hit enter so now his command has been reset and you can just go ahead and add a new one with the slash npc add command and that's it for this tutorial so hopefully you guys liked it hopefully you guys use this for your server and if you like the video go ahead and drop a like and subscribe peace out guys it's on a mindset it's what you got to get it's a hundred times you got to stay positive this is doing now this is living life if you come in with me baby we're doing it right i said we're doing it right everybody will be doing it right